Hey everyone, welcome back to EU4 Saxony, where we're still in our war against Galray here. It's been made a lot harder due to their tech advantage, very crucial tech advantage. But finally, Burgundy has actually moved to uh, besiege their capital. And um, I'm about to peace out Staten over here. We're actually going to attack. I wanted to avoid that, but at the end of the day, it's probably not, uh, it's probably not useful to wait. So yeah, we're just going to attack the army that will lower their enthusiasm here significantly. In fact, I'm probably going to be able to wipe their army. They're going to, yeah, they're going to be wiped. So that, well, they actually just got lucky. That was not, okay, no, it was a wipe. Never mind me. And um, so now we can basically demand from them what we want. I have gotten this back on the control. Let's retake my other lands as well. And then um, let's hopefully have Sweden deal with this. Austria is now a great power again. And you know what? I'm just going to give these guys local autonomy. This province is... I guess I could have just let the rebels rise up as well. It doesn't matter. Um, I think this is overall pretty fine. And wow, Galray already fell. That's good news. That's very good news. Um, let's just take my lands back. Wait for this to fall as well. Okay, thanks Sweden for getting that one back on the control as well. And there, let's go ahead and sue for peace. So we're going to get operations. We're going to uh, release, well, return some some provinces. And uh, we're going to get operations from these guys as well. Awesome. So yeah, that one large nation has just been cut into many pieces. And I hope Mecklenburg is going to switch religion. By the way, Denmark is now reformed, so hello. That's nice. And Austria is Protestant. Ooh. But we do have three votes, so we're pretty much guaranteed to get this elector. And if we do get Ansbach on our side, even better. Okay, so you guys just go home. And, uh... I mean, okay, yeah, Sweden's actually going to attack Galway now. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to make it. Because, damn, that tech, such a huge advantage. Uh, but, no, they seem to be fine. They seem to be fine. Oh, wow, they actually stack wiped them. That's awesome. Okay, and Cologne does not want to be part of this anymore either. So we should be overall just, uh, just good. Actually, I'm not sure if it's... Oh, now we can build ships? Damn it, that's too late. I already started my construction. Anyway, um, let's get you guys together. Uh, I hope that we actually get control over this, but I'm not sure. We might be very unlucky here if Burgundy decides to keep this under their own control. It could happen. But yeah, you guys get together, um, crush the rebels, so we can actually finish that fortress. And we need to be careful over here as well. So let's uh, let's actually get you guys over here to more safety. Ah, oh, they're going to get it. Damn it. It's a bit late. That's okay. Siege it back. And uh, there goes Sweden. They actually lost that first battle. They're immediately jumping in. They're going to lose this one too. I'm pretty certain actually. But they're going to weaken the enemy army so much that... They're not going to be able to continue the siege, which is great. Great for me, anyway. So, yeah, we can actually go for a new tech immediately. But I'd rather use that... I'm actually going to hold off on those points for now. We have finally gotten the war goal. That's awesome. And Cologne has been taken. Let's make sure that we piece you guys out as well. You are... Uh, steer trade and give me money. How much are we going to get? 21? That's fine. I could release a nation as well. I mean, why not? That's actually better. Let's do that. There you go. So release that nation. They're Protestant too. And... So now it's just Galray. Awesome. But yeah, I did definitely needed my allies in this one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to make it. It's kind of sad. We should probably switch out our generals. Let's get this guy in here. Take over the siege. 
Although at this point I can probably already um, peace out and get what I want, right? 65%. Now I want this and this. Now this will actually create a coalition, so I can't take both, but I can take just this, um, which will be fine. So we'll do this, and then you can release nation. I do not have a claim on this one, right? So that's probably just something I will do. And then you've got military axes. You can keep your alliances, but I do want war operations, transfer trade, and get the money. You're not going to say yes to it just now, but you will. Oh, yes, you will. Okay, we can actually fast forward a little bit. Yeah, we just, um, just want to retake our provinces here. Uh, free company has been recruited. Where's my ships? Oh, they're over here. Shouldn't there be like a second? Oh, they have... So, interestingly, ship construction is stopped if your provinces are occupied. That's fine by me. Okay, infantry and cavalry costs are increased. Can I now recruit a explorer? Friedrich Pilz, there you go. And then... I need three ships. Okay, yeah. So I'm building two more. That's fine. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. There goes your army. Goodbye. And we're just waiting on that one siege. And, well, on this one, obviously. We can obviously use spy network at this point. I don't think it's a, it's a good investment. I'll just ignore it. Still making... Uh, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm losing money right now. So we're probably going to have to fire this guy. Three level three advisors are maybe a bit much. I just realized. What do you have here? Land maintenance. Let's switch to that. And then... Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll go with the diplomatic reputation. Yeah, because that will help us with the votes. Let's actually do that. Very expensive to switch these guys out, but I'll take it. And then... I think this is fine. We replaced one of the advisors. Should be enough for us to uh, be positive. Be in the positive again. Now, you want peace? I'm not willing to give you the peace just now. Actually, you, you, no, you are giving it to me. That's awesome. So I'm going to take one province. Uh, we'll release another nation. Can I release more? No. Fine then, that will be it. We will get war operations. We'll get some money and we'll take a province, which we will immediately. I mean, you know what? I'll just click it right now. Um, make this uh, a core. Reduce the aggressive expansion impact. And wow, Mainz is now voting for us as well. So this should be fine. We should be emperor whenever that new guy dies. We will give you military access as well. And you guys, you can come, you can actually come over here. You can drill. Waiting for our fleet now. We can probably increase our army as well if we wanted to. Sweden will get access, obviously. Uh, Denmark is at war with... Russia and Sweden and Russia just fully annexed everything over here. Damn, that's crazy. I wonder who declared the war Probably check Russia Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to decline that but oh wow Trent. Oh wait Wait, so who lost? Who no who's no longer an elector? Oh Mainz Wait, yeah, Mainz is no longer an elector. That's interesting. But yeah, so we got three votes, and Trent might actually want to vote for us as well. Just need to improve relations a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. I want to get as many votes as possible just to secure it. I've been waiting long enough for this emperorship. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm definitely ready. All right, so next year, actually two years from now, we will... Uh, Mm, we will be able to get the next tech. 
in the spy network build. It's fine. Got two useless royal marriages right now. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, there's our ships. Awesome. Let's get these guys together. And we can start exploring. Now, well, there isn't all that much to explore, to be entirely honest. Let's see what we can... There's nothing to explore. Oh, we must be in able... uh, We must be in port. Right, that's fine. Let's go here. Um, we can circumnavigate the globe. Now, I don't think that's going to be particularly successful. Um, okay, that was a bit of a waste then. So, I guess for now, you can just uh, protect trade. In Lubeck and we can purchase a new ability well we have all the abilities now um, they don't really help us all that much I wonder if our trade is actually improved right now eh, by 0 0.03 it's not a whole lot I'm gonna lose the prestige here because we got plenty it's ticking down anyways so we're not gonna have it for a long time oh look at this four votes for us it's awesome we're gonna be Emperor now we just need Moldavia to die. And as soon as that happens, we will rule. Okay, we've got our fortress here in the north now. And this one I will upgrade as well, because I do believe... Yeah, this is only a level 2 castle. Um, so we're going to upgrade that. But for now, uh, that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.